Last time on The Walking Dead. Since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad, to show mercy sometimes. I always listen to Clem, always, but I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. And when Clem told me to shoot Lily, I got mad. So mad. either. But I remember all the rules. And the first one is never go alone. longer.
We've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Klim. Come on, you can do this, AJ. Just run and jump. You got this. I got this. I got this. AJ, what do we do when we're scared? We push through it. We don't let it take over. No, we don't.
lots of moves and lots of rambling. Well, it's easier than just a waiting around to die. about your tongue, but at least you're still alive. Thanks. I owe you one. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah. My ass is a little singed, but... I'm good. Fuck. You, I was... I was so afraid of you. Me too. But we're okay. We're both okay. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. walkers than I can count. The explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! I brought the cart around. Ruby! Willie! Come on! We're getting out of here! There's no end to these little shits! Put them down! Do something! herself killed.
see you on the other side. <sighs> Damn right. AJ, go with them. No, I'm staying with you. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo. through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! I saw his eyes when he did it. I saw the bloodlust in them. What are you talking about? Nothing. Go. In here. We can't move forward without a way to see. I'll figure something out. Another one. Hmm. Gotta get home before AJ can play with it. nice in our room. Just have to get home first. Okay. Need 
some way to start a fire. to burn. swimming through that. The water's moving fast. It's too dark to tell how far it even goes. tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta... We gotta find something to help us cross. The walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. If I ain't that out of there, it would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way.
Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. Oh! Clem! But it's not too late. Let go! For him, at least. <laughs> Follow us and I sprain your ankle. Follow us after that, I break your leg. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. Not any further. Clem! Shh! You're coming with me. What happened to not wishing anyone harm? It has its limits. You fell. I'll kill you before I leave her. You did this. You made him this way. You had him empty an entire clip into that woman's head. It was only half a clip. Is this what you wanted? A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel. Look at me and tell me this is what you wanted. She deserved to die and you know it. By his hand. In that way, I've seen what rage like that can do if it remains unchecked. Believe me, you don't want to see it with him. I liked it. I liked killing him. It made me feel strong. I don't care if it was murder. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Maybe ever. AJ, come on. I know you don't mean it. If I shout it, will you believe me then? How many times will he have to say it before you've realized you've lost it? Stay out of this or I swear I'll claw your fucking eyes Neither out. Neither of you are listening. Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead. And I'm not sorry about it. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. AJ. You say I don't mean this when I'm only doing what you always say. You always said surviving was the most important thing. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. Killing Lily made us safe. There's nothing wrong with liking that. I can't listen to this. You can change him. Do it then. Talk to him. I'm not gonna stop, Clem. I I'm not gonna let people that wanna hurt us just walk around. You can't tell me to stop and expect me to get it. You can't tell me to stop when you know it just confuses me. I know this world is hard. For all of us. And for you especially. But there's more to it than, than just survival. Like what? Rule one. Never go alone. The very first rule is about how to survive. But where are the rules that are more important than that? Why aren't they first? And why are you just telling me now? I can't just make up new rules, Clem. It confuses me. Look, surviving is different around people. We're not on the road anymore. Things change with people. Rules change. What? Like voting? Yeah, sure, but that's just that one of them. That rule almost got us killed. you to hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. Even Lily. I've heard enough. <laughs>
It's obvious you can't teach him. <laughs> <laughs> don't understand who we are. I understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. All you know is violence. Death. He could live a peaceful life, but... But it's like you won't let him! It might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans. Not walkers! James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human! It's what will keep any of us human! It, it takes more than words. You can't just talk people into being peaceful. You think I don't want a life like that for AJ, for myself? God, I'd love to live in a world where I didn't have to worry about killing or dying. But that's just not how things fucking work. Not yet. And what you're doing now isn't going to change that. What is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. But only to keep our friends safe. Please, you can trust me to decide when it's right. Okay. Really? You're growing up too fast, AJ, and that, that scares me. But you've seen things and done things no one your age should have to do. <sighs> you've earned my trust. If you say you won't ever enjoy killing, I believe you. I won't. I promise. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. Go. I'll make sure you won't be followed. Thank you. Be safe.
coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A Sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A Sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. The Sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. You made that go away. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. Huh? Violet! You made it. You're all alive. I couldn't believe you were really dead. I had to try and find you. You did find me. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be... gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. Well, you screwed up because you did care about me. Yeah, I did. Way more than I meant to. I'm still kind of amazed we found each other, you know? Yeah, me too. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. 
How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlin said. How it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I had a treehouse in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And the treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. Something that makes assholes go, I should stay away. But not like Blood Murder Knife House. How about Castle Violet? Oh no, we well, can't name it after me. You're probably less of an asshole than Erickson. Ugh, I hope, but still no. Too late, it's Castle Violet. Fine. I want to help rebuild our school. You will attend. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Castle Violet. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. That's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard.
Ini going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a, a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... Don't you fucking speak to him! Any of you! Do this. Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon.
come with me. No! What the fuck? How could you do that? I had to. You wouldn't ever see Castle Violet if I didn't. I did it for you. For me. I can't. Ten is gone! That soft little boy who liked to draw, he's gone because of you! Now's not the time, Violet. We can talk about this later, when we're safe. There's nothing to talk about! I didn't want to shoot him! He was my first real friend! But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so... I did. Goodbye, Tom. Bit. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Keep moving forward.
I'm going to be okay, AJ. We have to focus on getting back. But what if you're not? Forward. Look! James is boring. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there.
Paige, you did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We could climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. <laughs> You can't give up! You can't give up! I need you! I need you! I'm so sorry, kiddo. This is just what happens sometimes. But it wasn't supposed to happen to you! Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jay, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Silly right now. Not right now. Please. I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please. Don't say that. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never go alone. So, so I can't leave. Not without you. AJ. It's your rule. You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... <sighs> Grab that axe. Juicy Walker just waiting to be gutted. You can use that axe to open it up. Cover yourself in Walker guts. I know how to do it, Glenn. I know you do. When the monsters come. Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay then. Fuck. And the last rule. I, I want to stay. With you. I know what'll happen. And, and I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... and... Stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Even if someone kills us later, we'll just sit for a really long time. No way, goofball. I worked way too hard for that. You're going home. And that's where you're gonna stay. 
Okay. I will. Last rule. No. What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me see it? I'm coming. His name's Alvin Jr.
stupid asshole. I'm not messing around. It's Tell me where the kids are. All right, all right. That way, there's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay, we're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. Never go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, Jay? I've really missed you so much. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. And I'll never leave you again. Gotcha. Who's a good girl? Is you, Rosie? Goodest girl in the world. girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. Looks like a bad place to sleep. <sighs> I 
Nothing good. That's a pretty good. Better than the ground. This place is... C cursed. Oh, that's scary. And mean. I think this place is good. V plus M. Violet plus Minnie. She used to be their friend. How can someone just make that go away? I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. It's getting kind of cold. I'll bring some sticks and stuff next time. No! 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 Yes! Good girl! Always aim for the head. Sorry, Tin. I know. Me too. Let's go home. Let's go home. Last year's 
Goofball. Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. That's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. <laughs> this is fun. I love today. 
Me too. It's good to see you smile. You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming! Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up, and we'll find that out together. Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Sending Violet smart. She knows what she's doing. Back at gotcha, you, kid. That's why I want you to come with. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. Okay. Just... just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. Katja. Sorry. It's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. 
I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. At least you're not a monster. Or dead. Anything's better than that. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Oh, I'm sure you'll remind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? I mean, I didn't die. That's the job, right? I mean, like, really? Yeah, there were close calls. Not close enough? When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you, back in the cave. To make the hard calls, even when I couldn't. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome, for everything. Okay, okay, in you go. I wonder who you used to be.
Hey there, Alvin Jr. You ready to rock? has magic powers. Nah. It's too bad he won't be able to draw another one. I hope you have extra crayons wherever you are, Tin. You know what? I'm a great artist. You hear me, Rosie? <laughs> oh, great. Clem said she'd teach me to ride someday. I gotta get bigger, fast. This is a good one. Like it's protecting us. Still scary. Looks like it tastes bad. I won't lick it. I won't. I don't know how this works. This seems like really hard drawing. I'll ask Clem later. Why did Clem collect so many skulls? like Lewis in a box. <laughs> Go Erickson! I still don't know why you say that. They're dead. Bye, flowers. I'll pick some more. I wonder if you're hungry. For bugs. Cool disco broccoli. Like the coolest. Even if I could eat you, I wouldn't do it. You're too cool. Clem never explained what is disco. Oh, I'm just getting myself hungry. see through those? They look like glasses, but like bad. I bet you've seen a lot of things, huh? I've, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Toy airplanes on fire off the shoulder of McCurl Ranch. 
I watched canned beans glitter in the dark near that one train station with a dead couple Clem tried to guilt me about. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in Omar's stew. Time to die, Marlon. Never gonna die, huh? That's lucky. I can't reach. That's unfair. Omar didn't want this back. He said, well, it didn't work, did it? I try to 
Just trying to unwind, sitting on the steps. 